What's in a name? That which we call the park by any other name would smell just as sweet. This is the moment you've waited for. You know, I wonder what would have happened if you just made that three against the Harlem Wizards. What's this? What is it? Through one more pass, I was wide open. What is it? What is it? Let me see. Are we ready for the park? Yes! <laughs> yes, Monique. Listen to Rosa, I'm gonna fail. Monique, don't say that. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Thank you, Kristen. Uh, guys, I got a I got a letter from the state. Uh, it's addressed to us. Us? You mean like me? And you, and, and me, Moylan, and Fensermacher, and Duke? Duken, and Samson. What's it say? Hey, Cooper, have you started studying for the park yet? Nah, I think I'm just going to wing it. You're not going to wing it. And it's called the NJSLA. Yeah, Cooper. It says it's from the state, and they're coming to audit us? Audit us? What? What does that mean? The state is coming to audit us. The whole state of New Jersey. The whole thing. Yeah. Is there anything the else? Department of Education. Did you sign up for the 5K yet? Dude, we can't think about that now. The state's coming. The state's coming. I'm just trying to get what under... What do they want? I just try to get under 40 minutes that she has all. State? Guys, I think I see him. I think I see him. That's, that's not... Nope, that's Mr. Palumbo. Guys, I'm sorry. Don't so worry about your mile time or whatever that is, man. We gotta, we gotta start. We gotta really start working. That's him. It's the state. Uh, I got it. I got it. You I get it. it. Hello? Who is it? Guys, it's Mrs. Fidley. Who wants to cover period seven? <laughs> Guys? Guys? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, uh, I'll buy it. Uh, it's worth it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Anyway, if I'm being honest, I'm not really all that worried about this week, man. I mean, the videos from la from two years ago to last year have obviously been progressing. I mean, kids seem to really be taking the park pretty seriously now, right? Do you see the number of views we have? We're at like 60. Yeah. You guys should be nervous. I know I am. What time is this meeting supposed to get going anyway? I mean, I, I thought it was at 9.30, but, um... Good day, gentlemen. <sighs> My name is Mr. Thompson. That, I, I, I think we all agree that we're going to stop right there. We we would like a lawyer. Dude, he didn't even say anything yet. Give him a chance to talk. As I was saying, or being rudely interrupted, I am Mr. Thompson. I've been sent from the state. I'm here to audit, audit all of you because of your past test preparation practices. Like preparation for the park? 
I thought we did a pretty good job with that. I'm trying my best. Well, it's actually not called that anymore, which reveals just how updated you are on state policy. It's actually called the NJSLA, and your students are scheduled to take it very, very soon. You see, I've been sent specifically to audit all of you. Mr. Dukin, Mr. Molinero, Mr. Fensenmacher, and of course, Mr. DeRosa. It has come to the attention of the state that you've been engaged in, well, various unacceptable and extremely ineffective park practices. Some include swimming on the floor, lunges in the hallway, that happened as well. hitting your head on door frames. I don't remember that one. Playing basketball poorly, I might add. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's all. Eating paper. In order to defeat the park, we must eat the park. Jumping over boxes. It's tough, sometimes it's tough. And rumors that you brought in a coyote to intimidate these students. In all fairness, we didn't think it would escape that quickly. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Dude, I'm actually really worried for that park coming up. You sign and call that anymore. Oh. Hmm? You see, the state is not taking kindly to these practices. Some have accused you of making mockery of our tests while damaging student progress. So they sent me to audit, audit and investigate you. See, the state cares about the students, but they don't care about you. In fact, I've come to personally dislike all of you. I find you rather odious. Odious? Oh. I, I put deodorant on. No, it's a metaphor! Oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep this stupidity to a minimum. All right, Thompson, but what does this all mean? Hey, hey, hey. it's Mr. Thompson. And it means that in one week, I'll be submitting my, submitting my final report to the state. And by the end of that report, after I document the park preparation at this school, if I don't like what I see, and I won't, I'll be filing the official paperwork for you all to lose your teaching licenses in the state of New Jersey. And you can take your stupidity to the road. Because as I said, we do not like you. Let me ask you, is there any way we can maybe change your mind about this? I doubt it. But then again, a broken clock is right twice a day. So I suppose there's a small sliver of hope. Hope you have a good day, gentlemen. And you'll be hearing from me and my staff very soon. Well, you'll be hearing from our lawyer. That's pretty good, right? Dude, he's got to even hear you. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure just elevated out of here. Well, we also don't probably have a lawyer either, right? And also, when did you get an elevator in the library? Live here at Woodland Park High School, where several teachers are under investigation, the State Department has sent a private investigator to undercover any corruptions and inefficiencies in past park practices. While we don't have a lot of details yet, we can say it doesn't look good for the teachers. Mr. Thompson has compiled a series of violations he intends to pursue. We're going to send it out to Jack in the field. Coming live from the 400 wing, I just saw some more teachers pass by as the investigation continues to heat up. We have no clue what's going to happen next. Back to you. Wow, this story is really heating up. We'll make sure to get back to you with the news. Until then, I'm Joe, and this has been Wildcat News 12. I can't believe the teachers are being investigated. I hope they find a good lawyer. Avocat Saint Yen. We jam the avocat. Did you guys hear? The teachers are being investigated. <gasps> really? There he is! There he is! There he is. There he is. There he is. The media's all over us. I need a disguise. Oh yeah, me too. This looks good. Yeah, this is good too. I don't even recognize it. We know where you teach, Mr. DeRosa. We know where you teach. Looks good on you, though. Yeah, yeah, me too. Hey, Mr. Bronico. Mr. Dugan with some wild. Okay, you killed that there, guys. You know what? We need somebody's help. Guys. I can't keep cleaning up your mess. Come on, coach. Anything you can give us, please. CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, they're all over us.
PBS, even National Geographic's killing us. All right, I'm gonna give you one press conference, but this is the last time. Told you I'd find it. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Told you we'd figure it out. Chapter six, Can't how to find a lawyer. What do you guys got? How to find a lawyer. Yeah, I mean, pretty much it. Perfect, let me see what you have here. Look at this, look at this. Step by step on how to find a lawyer, A through I. And uh, why do I have a yearbook? Here's why. Course in street law, yeah. textbook principles. Okay. Faculty and staff, all with tons of experience, some of which they maybe have potential of being a lawyer. We use the principles of street law. We cross-check them with the faculty who all have potential of being a lawyer. Oh my God. Problem Jeez. solved. That was easy. Whoever is the best lawyer, that's who we're taking. Guys, I don't even think we need a lawyer. I think we got this just on our own. We need a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> all right, listen up. I've called this press conference to answer a few questions about my colleagues under investigation. The reporting has been unfair and downright wrong. I'm here to set the record straight. Whippany Park is a district of excellence and a district of character. Mr. Molinero, Mr. DeRosa, Mr. Sampson, Mr. Dukin, and Mr. Fenstermacher are being unfairly treated and slandered. And I'm tired of it. I'll open up the floor to questions. Mr. Mahar, Mr. Mahar, Mr. Mahar. Mr. Mahar, Mr. Mahar. Mr. Mahar. Mr. Mahar. Yeah, Mr. Mahar. Bryce. Is it true that Mr. Thompson has cited over 10 violations in the park preparation testing guidelines? Mr. Thompson, listen, Mr. Thompson is who we thought he was. All right, and we let him off the hook. We let him off the hook. We knew who he was, but no more. No more, we're not letting him off the hook anymore. His reckless and false charges need to stop. Next question. Mr. 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 Is it true that not all students have passed the park practice testing? Pra practice? Practice test? We're talking about practice? Not the real test. Not the real test. Up here talking about practice. Not the real test. Give me a real question. Next question. <laughs> what steps have you taken to ensure that the coyote does not interfere with the students' testing? Coyotes. Coyotes. Listen, come back when you have some real questions. Press conference is over. Coyotes! All right, now you four guys, I know, are under a certain amount of pressure from the state of New Jersey. Governor Murphy and his investigators have come after you for some shoddy practices in the past. We're gonna get away from those shoddy practices. We're gonna get away from those shoddy practices, Mr. Molinaro, and I do mean you. Mr. Moylan, Mr. Sampson, Mr. DeRosa, we gotta get things orderly. And so, we're going to work on three best practices. One, we're going to try to apply wait time. The question is, how long are we waiting after we've asked a question before we actually solicit an answer from a student? And the optimal time is 10 seconds. When you ask your question, just without counting it out out loud, count to 10. So first, we want to find the zeros. Susie, come on, find the zeros. Right, yes, right now. Find the zeros. Pick up the cap, come on. Kai calculator, find the zeros. Now, come on. Kai, graph it, Jimbo. Jimbo, graph it. And only then are we gonna ask for an answer. Are we gonna designate a student? Step two, we're gonna have to give instructions. We're gonna have to give directions. Gentlemen, students cannot handle more than two directions at a time. You've gotta parcel out those directions. 
Now we've got a couple of math teachers here. We've got three math teachers here. Mr. Molinaro, you're at a disadvantage. You're not a math teacher, but even you can count to two. One, two, that's all of the directions we're gonna give at a given time. So first I want you to find the zeros, and then you're gonna find the y-intercept, you're gonna graph it, you're gonna show the parabola, you're gonna show all those things. Then I need you to go with your partner, talk about three things you notice about this function. Then you're gonna go over here, you're gonna say five different things that you've seen in this tab. Third, this is not gonna be a problem for you, Mr. Sampson. You're from Pennsylvania, and you know how to talk slow. They have to talk slow out there. But the rest of us are from the metropolitan area. We have a natural tendency to talk fast. But the faster you talk, the harder it is for your students to understand what you're telling them. So step three, the third best practice, is moderate your pace. Then you go to your packet, open up your packet, not the one from yesterday, the packet from two weeks ago. You've got to find that packet, turn to page seven, and then you find that function, compare it to this function. I want you to compare it to this function. That's the function I want you to use. All right. So, that's it, those three big points. Gentlemen, do you have any questions? How's that for wait time? Good luck. Guys, I got, I got an idea here. Listen, we can get into Thompson's briefcase. Hmm. You just gotta see Mr. Feynman for the special stuff. We'll be able to open it up. We'll get all the dirt he has on us. Destroy the case. I'm in. I got all dirty. Mr. Feynman, we really need your help. Follow me. It's over here. I have a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. It's dissolved in there, but you can't see it. Like our students, it has an amazing amount of potential. Watch. Crystals. Now you're sure this is going to work to break the lock? Yes. Just don't spill it. Okay. Too fast. Not too fast. Easy. Another letter from Thompson. What's it say? Good morning. Insofar as violations have been alleged, multiple exhibits adduced, and contrary testimony notwithstanding, and corroborating aforementioned violations contained in Section 4, Article 3 of state law, and subsequent violations of testing regulations pursuant of the ends of academic achievement, our findings note 13 distinct instances of testing negligence perpetuated as defined in Jackson 2015 by the accused parties acting as agents within their material requirements, rights, and responsibilities as outlined in subsection of the 2007 revision of the state testing outline. Sincerely, Mr. Thompson. I don't even know what that means. Hmm. Sounds like a few technicalities that were overturned in 2018. How did I say? Did you? How did she know that? No idea. <sighs> I'm breaking in, shaping up, the checking out on the prison bus. Mr. Moylan, use this to open the briefcase. Let's go find this briefcase. All right, guys, let's spread out. Sam, did you check the recycling bin over there? No, I'll double now. Give that a shot. You guys not in here? This can't be. Dude! I got it! You got it, you got it. Where, Where is, is it? it? Okay, so I don't have it. But, here's the thing, right? If you get in this dude's mind, maybe we can find it there. If you were just a real corrupt lawyer, where would you hide your briefcase?
I probably camouflage it. Right? You're not just gonna have it sitting out in front of you. It's like, what? You just. Gonna... Oh, that's funny. That's funny. All right, baby. Where's the canister? I got it right here. All right. Flip that around. Now, I said we have to be very careful with this. Let's move the chairs. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that's 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 my bad guys. Uh, I don't know what to say. I guess nothing will do then, right? I guess we should tell Mr. Molinero then. Yeah, let's go tell him. He's so gonna can, kill us. Can you clean that up first, bud? Oh. So, so, did you guys break in? So when you mean did you break in? As in, did you break in the file that it Did came you get into the briefcase? No, no. Not even close. Found the briefcase. Found the vial. Broke the vial. Did anybody tell Mr. Molinero yet? No. Fence should do it. He's not going to be happy. Why does Fence have to do it? Mrs. Ritaco, I have to ask you a favor. I know you've done accounting work in the past. Do you know a good lawyer? A lawyer? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, okay, I gotta ask you one more thing. This might sound kind of crazy, but I've been doing a lot of research into different people in the school and, and who might make a good lawyer, and all my research is pointing to one person. Do you think Miss Lane might possibly be a lawyer or could be a good lawyer? Um, I don't think so, no. No. And sometimes, remember, Mr. DeRosa, research can be very deceiving. I'm just confused because it's all crystal clear. I cross-checked the criteria with the different faculty members, and it seems like Miss Lane should be a lawyer. And w are you sure you don't know something about this? It kind of looks like you're hiding something, Mrs. Ritaco. Your research is not wrong, Mr. DeRosa. And one day, I found out the true story. Miss Lane has a backstory. You know, I noticed something different about her. Miss Lane, where are your classes of Romeo and Juliet right now? Uh, act three. Act three, scene two. Act three, scene two. She said things just a little differently than anyone else I'd ever met. It always seemed she'd had something more to her past. Something she was hiding. Hi, Miss Lane. Uh, the students told me you guys had a quiz on a separate piece this week. Is that true? Objection! You say! Then, one day, she told me. Ms. Rotaco, I have to tell you something. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. I know. I even took the bar exam. I mean, I studied for months. I was 100% confident that I would pass. I went in, feeling great, left the test feeling great. And then, one month later, I got the call. Hello, is this Miss Lane? This is she. Hello, this is Bill from the State Department. Miss Lane, the final scores have been processed for the bar exam. Mm -hmm. We regret to inform you that you did not pass. You missed the cut score by three points. <laughs> she was devastated and said she would never practice law again. Thank you, Mrs. Rotaco. I know exactly what we have to do. Let's go find our lawyer. Bennett, what's your part of lunch today? Yeah, these Palermo salads are great. Customer service there is phenomenal.
Guys. Hey, dude. We gotta talk. Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's not looking good. Um, I, I think I'm out, guys. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not you. It's. It's me. Mr. Molinero, we always say I'm in. We're never out. We couldn't get in the briefcase. Tom's all over us. We don't even have a lawyer. It doesn't look good. All right. I got a wife, four kids at home. All right. I really got to worry about my future. All right, and my game plan. All right, again, it's not you, it's me. All right, we really need a lawyer. That's what I would suggest you to do. Um, but this is it. I'm sorry. This isn't gonna work. I'm out. Mr. Slank, hey. we need your help. I'm going to cut right to the chase. We're in a lot of trouble. State investigators are all over us. Mr. Molinaro just left us. Okay. I know it sounds weird. We need you to be our lawyer. Your lawyer? I'm an English teacher. I can't, I can't be your lawyer. Ms. Slank, Mrs. Otako told me. Okay, we found out about your past. We need you. It's a different lifetime. I can't do it. I never did become a lawyer. Miss Lane, you know the law. You've studied the law. You can help us. We need you. I can't. I, I put that behind me. I can't. I'm sorry. So that's it? Thanks a lot. You know... I wonder how Mr. Robinson would have done without Atticus. I'll do it. You'll do it, Miss Lane. Thank you. I'll drop off all the case files in your mailbox in the morning. You are our lawyer. Thank you so much. You gave us another chance. All right. It seems the Whippany Park teachers have finally found a lawyer. That's true, but it's not clear that a lawyer will help them now. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's send it out to Jack for a live update in the field. I am here live in the 400 wing with a witness right on. Can you tell me what you just saw? I saw a bunch of teachers walk by, and they looked like they finally have a lawyer. What an interesting development. Back to you. Is that Mr. Molinero? Mr. Molinero! I knew you'd come back. Oh, it's just a dream. What's going on? Where's Mr. Molinero? He's out. Done. Yeah. So he's not coming back. He left his land here. Because he's out. He left. Said something about a wife, four kids. We don't have a lawyer. No, I'll tell you. He, well, take uh, he left at the wrong time because guess what, gentlemen? We got a lawyer. <laughs> oh! 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 Wow. Let's do this. Let's go. 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 All right. I got to refrigerate that. We'll go. Can't believe he left us. I never thought it would come to this. Dear Mr. DeRosa, I've completed my report. 
I'd like to meet with you and the rest of the other teachers tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 p.m. in the library. Don't be late and do not waste my time. Sincerely, Mr. Thompson. Told you we get a lawyer. Well, I see you finally found a lawyer. Yes, we have. I've been preparing for this for a long time. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I have compiled my list of violations in my report here, and I'm prepared to file it tomorrow morning. Mr. Thompson, I see you've compiled a list of violations about our park preparation. However, since this is no longer park, your entire report is invalid. I thought you might say that. So, by taking extra precaution, I mentioned in a footnote, I believe it's footnote number 38, that the park is equivalent to the NJSLA, so all these violations still stand. So what are we going to do now? Now, obviously, this does not look good for you. But, being the nice guy that I am, I'm preparing to make a deal. So here's the deal. I've been working on a project that will allow me to have more control over student test scores on the state exam. In fact, I've created a new piece of software called Operation Override, but the state won't allow me to test it without school permission. This program allows me to manually override any student's real score and replace it with the score I'd like. So I'm willing to offer you a deal. If you let me try out this new program on your school, I'll make sure all of your students get a passing score and I won't file my initial report. You won't need to worry about a thing. So what do you think about my offer? Guys, I'm going to take over here. I know this sounds terrible. He's given us a way out. We need to take it. Mr. DeRosa, as your fellow mathematician, I just, I just think that might be the biggest mistake you make all year. If we sign this, all the kids will pass the park, we'll all keep our jobs, and everything will be fine. What about all the hard work that we put in? It's not going to show exactly what we did to help them on this test. Not this time. We got a sign. That's why Mo and Arrow left us. I can't, I can't be here. Come on, man.
back, baby. Molinaro doesn't quit. Well, Thompson, your time has come. I don't know what you're here for, but you're too late. You're done. Oh, yeah? You think it's too late for us? Well, guess what? I've been up the last three nights, past 10 o'clock, after I played video games, Pokemon, and I used the Google on the line to find stuff on you, sir. And so here's what I found, all right? I heard that you framed O.J. Simpson in 95. You ever heard of Full House? Well, I found out that you were the one that started the whole college admission scandal. How dare you, sir? And in 2012, I found out that you cheated Miss Lane to not be able to pass her bar exam. We regret to inform you that you did not pass. You missed the cut score by three points. You think you're so smart, don't you? I found out that you were the one that let out the coyote. No. What do you say to that? Are you finished? You know what, Thompson? I'm just getting started. In 2009, you didn't pay your taxes down the shore on your second home. And in 2000, you were the one who programmed the computers to create the Y2K bug that everybody freaked out about. Well, you know what? I wasn't scared then, and I'm not scared now. This is just the tip of the iceberg, Thompson. You're like Titanic. You don't even see the 90%. You're going down, baby. Well, first of all, I'd like to say half of those charges sound completely irrelevant and made up. Second, your friend's already signed. This deal is irreversible. Can't take it back. Mr. Thompson, can I see that for a moment? Yeah, thank you. See, this would be valid. Somebody actually signed it. Oh. You never checked, did you? We're a district of character. You know what? Keep your stupid deal. Keep your stupid district of character. I'm done. Hate rich lines! Well, ladies and gentlemen, another job well done. Yeah, nice. So, um, we should probably get ready and start you know, preparing for the park, right? not the park, the NJSLA. That's why we hired her as a lawyer. Oh. Got it, <laughs> got it. Make breakfast for my Ms. Lane, congratulations. We heard you defeated Mr. Thompson. Thank you. All in a day's work. By the way, I saw this in your mailbox. It looked important. Mm, thank you. So what do you got there? I just got accepted to Harvard Law School. Are you gonna go? <sighs> and give up teaching? No way. Good morning. For both math and English, organize your thoughts on scrap paper first. We advocate pre-writing. Whippin' New Park will defeat the park. Is that a parabola? Parabola! 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 Think about your ideas and organize. Then proofread and edit carefully after you have typed your responses. Be sure to use and explain evidence from the documents provided. Good luck! Remember, you are more than just a test score, and when it comes to NJSLA, you are going to soar. Remember to use the ruler. Read the problem twice. Understand what you were trying to find by annotating. How do you annotate on a computer? Use the highlight tool, the notepad tool, and the eliminator tool to get rid of wrong choices. Remember to use all your time and give your best effort. You know more than you realize, and there's always room for partial credit. You got this but I want to firmly say that there's only one option, and that is hard work. 
and doing your best. Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly, we need your quick advice. Can you give us some short advice? What do students need to remember going into the standardized test this year? Oh, well, they're coming up on the NJSLA. They need to remember basically two things. Number one, if you put your name on something, you never settle. You always do your best because that's who you are. So now that you're seniors, Caroline and Julie, what was it like taking the part? Um, I took it my freshman and sophomore year, and honestly, it was not bad at all. You'll be fine. You're going to do great. Remember to trust in yourself and trust in your math teachers because they have prepared you. They have prepared you with strategies to prevent you from saying, I don't know where to start. And number two, always try to do your best for the sake of your school, for the sake of yourself and your community. Because the better you do, the better the implications on the school. But ultimately, like I said, number one, never settle. And when you do something, go get it. Whippany Park was for Park, but now we're going to NJ slay it. Go Cats!